we're the caretakers of the facility, uh, which includes everything from the roads and the electrical lines coming into the, to the plant, to the turbines, and everything in between. On a 57 megawatt plant, you're looking at about 10 people on site just to maintain those. You have wind, the turbines turn. That's one of the great things about wind. The fuel is free. The wind can be choppy, it can be blowing steady, it, uh, it can be blowing hard, it can be blowing soft, and you're still going to have uh, generation to some level down to uh, about six mile an hour wind. If you've ever driven your car going five miles an hour, you're not moving very fast, but five miles an hour is all you need to make these, these large rotors turn and start generating electricity. And the other thing is it doesn't matter what direction the uh, wind is coming from. These turbines are programmed as the wind shifts. The turbine will turn itself into the wind and keep going. With modern industrial turbines, which are variable pitch, as the wind starts increasing, they'll pitch themselves out to start capturing more wind. As that wind speed increases, if it gets too high, the blades will actually pitch out slightly so that they're capturing less wind. In winds that are too strong, the turbine will shut itself down. And when it's safe for that turbine to operate again, it'll automatically pitch itself back out and start producing electricity again. On low end days, we'll go out and we'll perform turbine inspections. We want to make sure we, we do good inspections and make sure that our turbines are going to run as they're designed to run. Well, what we'll do during our regular turbine inspections is we'll shut the turbine down before we climb, uh, perform lockout, tag out, then we'll climb 300 foot ladder, visually checking cables on the way up, and once we get to the top of the tower, place the turbine into a uh, status where it won't yaw or turn with the wind so that we can safely enter the nacelle. Once inside the nacelle, we'll inspect the frame, oil level in the gearbox, filtering, anything that looks out of the ordinary. I've been doing this for coming up on 12 years, and climbing turbines is still one of the things that gets me out of bed. It's not every day that, uh, that you get to climb a turbine and be 300 feet up in the air. There are very few of us that are, that are lucky to do that. And there's still the wow factor when you get up the turbine and you're able to take a, uh, a momentary pause and just take in what's around you and what you're actually doing. There's nothing else in the world that's like this.